Alright guys, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do Farron Skip, uh, not Farron Skip, I wish this was Farron Skip, uh, how to do Phil Home Skip on the current patch or on the speedrun patch which is going to be used on for all bosses. So you come over to this bridge, cut it, come down here, drop, and put on the assassin armor on your chest so you can see your feet better. And what you want to do is, when you sprint over here, you're going to want to do, regen your stamina a little bit, do a running L1, and then an R1, wait for this guy a little bit, then do an R1, then an L1. Better kill him. Come over to this spot here where the, the rock's pointed out. And what you want to do is you want to come left a little bit, so you're in this bit. And there's two white splotches where my feet are right now, right? If you can see, there's a, a thin one and a fat one, just on, on where my right foot is. Two white spots. So you've got the fat one and the thin one. You want to put your foot where the thin one is. So just like that. So your foot is on the thin one. And you want to put your head just perfectly where mine is above the white there's like a white rock on the wall here and you want to put your head just just below it cast spook and walk off make sure you're walking and holding w at the same time and when you land just quit and that works pretty consistently uh, i mean i've i've not done this like a million times i've done it i don't know like probably 30 40 and i've got it i've pre fouled it twice or, or three times so it depends maybe someone's got like a hundred percent but or maybe I fucked up on them two attempts, but that's what you need to do. And you'll land here. When you land here, make sure you sprint against, like you want to sprint up against the wall. Or you slide down really easily. So when you load in, sprint up against here, then go to the left here. And there's two like things sticking out here. There's one here, like a bit of ice sticking out. And there's a bit of ice sticking out here where my hand is. You want to go to this left one. And what you want to do is, you don't need to spook here, you can just get close to the edge, and you keep tapping W. You see you get lifted up there, that's when you're about to fall off. So when you're about to fall off here, just keep tapping W, keep tapping, and then just hold this, and you want to roll about here. See where I was on the rocks? You want to roll about there. You'll get used to the timing the more and more you do it, but plunge and then roll just as you're about to fall towards the end. You want to light this bonfire for later on in the run. When you go to Grave Tender, this crab can aggro. He can't really stop you. He, well, I've never had him stop me lighting the bonfire. He can chase you all the way to the branch, which is super annoying. And you can get two of them like this. I mean, this is RNG. I, I get up here pretty often. So they never really stop me. You want to stand here so this guy fun, runs off. Sometimes he can push you a little bit, so you have to be careful not to stand too close. And then fall on this branch. You can run straight over him, but uh, you have to be very consistent. So watch my gamepad viewer and how I control my character as I come up here. That's mainly what you need to do. I can't really explain this too well. You'll get used to it the more you practice. So just watch my gamepad viewer and how I, how I run and where I go. So look, I go off diagonal there into the top left. And you want to time this guy to arrow you. And I use a line up here. I walk off. And as soon as I know I'm on this, I start running. And I come around, straight around here. Perfect. And then just walk against this wall, keep going, and you'll drop down here, and you can go straight up the ladder, and out. As soon as you've, as soon as you've got really off that blast branch, you've, you've pretty much done the skip. It's <sighs> the skip's 55 minutes in. It's not the worst skip. I mean, there are this used the skip used to be a lot harder, and because I used to practice it a lot when it was really hard, it, it makes it a lot easier when I do it this version of it. Um, I don't know, I think new runners that haven't ever done this skip before, it's going to take a while before you start getting the controls. But honestly, when you've done it a lot of times, it's it's easy, man. It, it isn't that bad. You just have to get used to that. Like, the only thing that can really happen is the crabs, to be honest. It's the only thing I really foul, or I've ever fouled. So yeah, as soon as you come through this door, sprint through. You want to When you're watching this tutorial, you're going to want to watch a lot of my gamepad viewer how I use it and as soon as you get to the dialogue and it finishes just quit out you have to get that dialogue because then you know you're you're through the stairs pretty much as soon as you keep walking as the dialogue goes and then quit out when it finishes as soon as the dialogue's finished here you can just quit out make sure you're running still and you'll be straight in free to fight right here all right guys just watch that tutorial and make sure you watch the gamepad viewer in certain parts and try and pause the video or slow it down slow-mo and watch how where I walk for certain parts like that last branch can be tricky so watch there's a there's like a hanging branch like a curled branch and you want to walk left of that
Try and I walk up there because it's more consistent. You can run, but you're going to probably lose like lose the run 55 minutes in. So yeah, good luck, guys.